Hi you guys, this is Dr. Susan and I just wanted to show you a model of a dog's ear um, before I get started and showing you how to clean a dog's ears. Um, a lot of people think they know how to clean the ears, but actually they, they really don't. And when I show them this, they're really happy that I showed them. So hopefully this will help you, okay? First of all, um, let me just show you this model. This is a dog's right ear. And his face would be coming at you this way and his mouth would be, you know, like right there, okay? So when you hold a dog's ear straight up like this, there's a tube that goes straight down and that's called the vertical canal. And then it makes a turn and it goes in and that's called the horizontal canal, ear canal. And the eardrums actually point, you know, way down here. The point of showing you this is that the eardrum's not like right there. Um, it's further down in. Now, before you go and, you know, get ear mite medication from the store and get ear washes and stuff and sort of try to treat this yourself, you really ought to have your own veterinarian. If you think there's a problem, you ought to have somebody who knows what they're doing with an otoscope, hopefully knows what they're doing, um, check this ear and look down in. Because when you just pull your dog's ear up like that and you look down in there, all you're seeing is this right here. And you're not going to be able to see, no one can see this right here, unless they look with an otoscope. And um, there could be something down in here. You know, there could be a piece of, of grass or, or a weed barb um, out here at this part of the world. You know, we get the foxtails or a little barbed looking, looks like a piece of wheat, and it can get stuck in the eardrum. So if that eardrum has something punctured, you know, if it's punctured or it has something in it, um, you know, you need to know what you're doing before you start pouring liquids and stuff. So what I'm going to show you is assuming that you were told to clean the ears properly, that you have an idea of what's going on with this, okay? Now this is the ear wash we use. It's called Epiotic Advanced. It's expensive, okay? Now there's a lot of other products and your veterinarian is going to have something appropriate for you to use, you know, or at least he's going to, he or she's going to tell you, you know, what you should use. We like this stuff for the most part, though. I, I really like it. I've been doing this for a long time, so. Okay, so anyway, you guys, I'm Dr. Susan. This is Kobe. Kobe has an ear infection in his right ear, and I want to just show you how to clean the ears, because a lot of people uh, don't know how to clean the ears properly. Hi, Kobe. What a good boy. He's a large dog. Part of this problem in cleaning is you have to restrain these guys properly. So what you do is you put his rear end in a corner like that. He's too big to get up on the exam table. It's all right, doll. There. The vertical ca canal is down in here. Okay? It goes straight down in there. There's a tube. Ooh, look at this infection. Gross. We'll get that out of there. Anyway, the ear canal is a tube. And it goes down like that, and then it makes a turn and goes in like this. So the eardrum's not right there. So there's quite a ways down, so that's why you have to hold the ear up like a Doberman to straighten that L out, okay? And the bottom part of the L, which is right over here, is the part where a lot of these infections stay. And so if you don't get it clean, um, then it'll just come right back once you finish treating it. And then the veterinarian gets blamed, which I just hate. <laughs> okay, so what you do is you take your ear wash. This is epiotic. We like Epiotic. There's a lot of good products out there, but I like this stuff, and this is what we use. So anyway, you hold the ear up like a Doberman. Can you see that? Okay. You pour this stuff in. I'm going to have to hold his nose. Poor Kobe. <laughs> you pour this stuff in until there's a fluid line. Look at this. Hold the ear up all the time, and, and look at how, see how there's fluid in there? Can you see that? trying it again. Okay, so anyway, you hold the ear up like a Doberman. You pour the ear wash in. <laughs> Such a good patient. Until there's a fluid line, you keep the ear straight up like this. Okay? And see that fluid line in there? See how the ear is actually full? Don't be afraid to overdose the ear with ear wash. It's not going to be a problem. Okay, now kind of back up a little bit with a camera because I want to show the whole picture. You hold the ear up like this, and you massage way down here until you hear a smacking sound. Okay, can you hear that? Yeah. That ear, that is the only way, oh. without anesthesia, that you're going to be able to get that bottom part of the L clean. 
is by stirring it up by making that smacking sound. I never knew that. Yeah. So most people don't. See that? Oh, wow. And you have to get the smacking sound going. And if you have to fill the ear up again, Kobe, he's smart. He's getting his nose up in the air. <laughs> Stay, and so they get tricky, and then they try to empty the ear. Stay. But that's what you do. Look at this. Watch your arm there, Jamie. I hope we've gotten the smacking sound. And then you take your finger like this, and you kind of massage it, wipe out what you can. See that? And then you just let the dog shake its head and empty the rest of the ear. Don't worry about what's left over in there. It'll be okay. Okay, you guys, and so don't be afraid to fill this whole ear canal up with, with ear cleaner if your veterinarian has given you the instruction to clean the ears and you know that there's not a ruptured eardrum and you're, you're just doing a routine cleaning. You need to fill this whole area up with ear wash, okay, and get the smacking sound going, which means you're going to be massaging it way down here to indirectly clean this spot right here. Okay, that's what that smacking stuff does. It kind of sucks the infection out of there and up and out, you know, and you have to do it several times, you know, a couple times a day sometimes for 10 days, and over a period of time, it'll accomplish that, hopefully. And then the same thing goes with the uh, ointments. You know, you may have some kind of an ointment that your veterinarian gives you to treat the ears. Don't just get it on the outside part. Remember, you have to hold the ear up like a Doberman to straighten this thing out here and then you get your ointment and you go straight down and get it like right in there and then massage it you know you're collapsing it remember that smacking sound is really important you're going to be don't just move the skin on the outside you have to literally just collapse that tube to cause that medication to get down in where it needs to go okay after you clean the wa you want to clean the ear first after you wipe out what you can with a gauze let the dog shake its head, and don't worry about any liquid, you know, leftover ear cleaner that might be in there. It'll drain out. Let him shake his head first, kind of dry it off, and then you put your ointment in afterwards and leave it in so it can do some good. Okay? Good luck.